How do I set up Cody on a Raspberry Pi? Are you ready to turn your Raspberry Pi into a powerful media center with Cody? Let's walk through the steps to set it up and make your home theater experience truly enjoyable. First, gather your materials. You will need a Raspberry Pi board, a micro USB power supply that can provide up to 2,500 milliamps, or for the Raspberry Pi for a 15 watt USB-C power supply. You will also need a high quality micro SD card with enough storage to hold the operating system and Kodi. Lastly, ensure you have an internet connection for downloading software. Next, you have a few options for the operating system. One popular choice is Libra Elec, which is designed specifically for Kodi. It provides a smooth media center experience. Another option is Ozunk, which also focuses on Kodi and offers an easy-to-use interface. If you prefer, you can install Kodi directly on Raspberry Pi OS, allowing you to run other applications alongside it. Now, let's get into the installation steps. If you choose Libra Elec or Ozunk, start by downloading the Raspberry Pi imager from the official Raspberry Pi website. Use the imager to flash either Libra Elec or Ozunk onto your micro SD card. Once that's done, insert the micro SD card into your Raspberry Pi and power it on. Follow the on screen instructions to complete the setup. If you decide to go with Raspberry Pi OS, first install the latest version on your micro SD card. Boot up your Raspberry Pi and make sure you are connected to the internet. Open the terminal and run the commands to update your system and install Kodi. Type in sudo apt update, followed by sudo apt install Kodi. After the installation is complete, you can launch Kodi from the applications menu or by typing Kodi in the terminal. To make Kodi start automatically when you turn on your Raspberry Pi, you can create a system service. Create a new file in the system directory named Kodi service. Add the necessary content to the file, which includes details about the service and how it should run. Save the file. Enable the service with sudo systemcdl enable Kodi service, and then reboot your Raspberry Pi to see if it works. Using Kodi on your Raspberry Pi opens up a world of possibilities for home entertainment. You can connect an external hard drive or a network share to store your media collection. This setup allows you to access all your favorite movies and shows easily. Kodi also supports various add-ons for streaming services like Netflix, giving you even more options for entertainment. Setting up Kodi on a Raspberry Pi is a fun and rewarding project. With the right components and following these steps, you will have a fantastic media center ready for family movie nights or binge watching your favorite series. Enjoy your new home theater setup.